Germany has had a long history of arms diplomacy with Turkey. It sold bombs, missiles, and tanks to its NATO ally. Between 1982 and 1993, Turkey bought nearly 400 Leopard tanks from Germany. Later, from 2006 to 2011, Berlin sold more than 350 upgraded Leopard 2 models to Ankara. The German unease over Turkey's use of the tanks began in 2016. That's when Ankara launched Operation Euphrates Shield, targeting Daesh and the YPG terror groups in northern Syria. Critics said using the tanks for such a mission violated an understanding that the weapons could only be used for self-defense. Fast forward to this year's Operation Olive Branch and Turkey's new offensive to clear the YPG from the Syrian border region of Afrin. Once again, there's reluctance in Berlin. Germany's government was set to approve a request from Turkey to German arms manufacturer Rheinmetall to upgrade the tanks, but last week Berlin put the approval on hold. Germany's foreign minister told Spiegel magazine, The government is very worried over the military conflict in northern Syria. It is clear that we are not supposed to deliver arms to conflict areas, and we will not do it. But Turkey's foreign minister denies there's been a freeze. There was supposed to be a commission meeting about Leopard tanks, but it's been delayed. There is no suspension or cancellation. We expect support and solidarity from our ally Germany, with which we have started fixing relations while we fight against terrorism. Relations had been strained over German criticism of Turkey's widespread arrests after the failed coup in 2016 and Berlin's reluctance to send coup suspects back to Turkey. But the two countries whose foreign ministers met last week appear to be patching things up. Of course we don't agree on all issues, but we have the responsibility to find a way to get along. We are NATO partners and partners in the fight against the terror group, Daesh. Berlin now faces a choice, stick with its NATO ally and approve the bid to modernize the Leopard tanks or undermine a fragile friendship. Sandra Gatman, The Newsmakers.